So the applied AI course at Cranfield is very different because we've worked with our industrial stakeholders to identify the gaps and the challenges of the current world and the emerging future. And that gap we address is that what they really want is a new generation of engineers. Um, people who have been trained in electrical, civil, mechanical engineering, but then to have the upskill in data science, AI and machine learning. And that allows them to accelerate their digital transformation. And here we're talking about digital twins, um, you know, applied intelligence, forecasting risks, insurance, designing new cyber physical products that are secure against new threat vectors. And what we're trying to do here is to train engineers predominantly engineers that do not have a statistics, mathematics or computer science background and to allow them to have the AI skills to integrate with their engineering baseline. Most of our graduates, after they complete their MSc, go into industry right across UK and Europe. And we already have a fantastic example where one of our students from last year is coming back this year to recruit this batch of students. And um, for example, a lot of them are going into engineering sectors, working AI-based control, working AI-based safety, uh, for example. That varies right across the transport sector, from airlines to trains to autonomous vehicles. I would say the top priority is math, because math helps the students understand the theories behind the AI and uh, deep learning. Uh, the, I would also require our students or suggest our students to have background in mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or computer science, because these uh, practical techniques can help the students design the real autonomous system and uh, apply AI into the real world. One of the key strengths of Cranfield is that we have a real cyber-physical world whereby we're connecting AI, data science, control, cybernetics with our traditional strength of aerospace that is in aircrafts, in transportation. So students, as you can see in this lab and many other labs, get to work on drones, high-performance computers, signaling capabilities, GNSS, navigation, and what they really look at are many, many things to do with cybersecurity, both in the traditional sense of how you're attacking um, these cyber-physical assets, but also in the novel areas of adversarial machine learning.